Today we're going to be creating a beautiful Christmas wreath made out of native balsam fir cut from our farms in Selwyn, Maine. So we have some cones and a nice wire edge ribbon and you'll have one just like this on your door. This is the crimped ring that we use, a standard door size would be a 12 inch ring. It's crimped to be able to hold the balsam fir on there without twisting round and round. Many people use their traditional coat hangers if you can find wire ones anymore. But uh, you tend to have a hard time because your fur will just wrap, go around and around and around. The crimping helps keep the fur straight on the ring. And we start by taking a paddle of wire. This is a 24 gauge wire and twisting it on the ring. I've cut a bunch of fur pieces just to have ready, so that's the tedious part. But to cut the fur, you're cutting about a six, seven inch, maybe up to eight inch. It gets longer as the wreath gets bigger. Now we're gonna start by making a hand of fur. And I hide the pieces that have been cut off into the back. Place this on the wreath ring and just go around and pull tightly. Again, I'm using anything in here, just making another hand of fur. Call it a hand because it sprays out like an open hand. At least that's the way I learned it. Come down, a little bit down from the first bunch. On the back side, pull tightly. Flip it back over. I always do the flip right after I finish that one, that way I don't forget to flip it. And hiding the worst parts. It's so great making reeds, nice and fragrant. It's a little bit pitchy, but you can get over that. It's quite the joy of the whole season. three wraps around of the wire, maybe four. You want to get it nice and tight though, that's what's going to hold the whole thing on there. It's outside in that snow and blowing nasty weather. It'll hold up well if you've got it on there nice and tight. The fur lasts for a long, long time. Usually most people put up around Thanksgiving. And to have all your children have a fur cut ahead. Don't you don't have to do that part two. You can all gather together out in the garage and throw these things together and have your whole house decorated. And your neighbors too. Then you continue with the same process all the way around the ring until we get to the end. Okay. Now we're getting toward the end of the wreath. You can see it just has a little bit of a hole left in there. At the end I start kind of motioning and wiggling the wire through so I don't catch all the other side. Put on this last bit. cluster and nicely so we can put the bow anywhere that they like. Again, just lifting that up, tucking these under. 
and wiggling this around. Pull tight. Bring out some length. some wild pieces. Some people really like them wild and leave them. I like them a little more managed. A little bit of trimming. And voila! Ready for decorations. A tight twist. right where your hanger is. Come right to the back. And again, a nice tight twist. And I take my little, excuse me, my ends, tuck them in so I'm not scratching anybody's door. And you have brief for bow. One more cone. And you're done. 